Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will check out what is Subcompose Layout in Jetpack Compose. Subcompose Layout allows for more dynamic and flexible layouts by subcomposing and measuring individual composables within a custom layout. This is particularly useful when the layout depends on the size or properties of its children, which might not be known until runtime. Here's an enhanced example demonstrating a scenario where subcomposed layout is useful. Imagine we want to create a custom layout where a header is always at the top and the rest of the content scales to fill the remaining space. The twist is that the size of the header is not known in advance and can change dynamically. In this example, firstly, subcomposer the header, we first subcomposer the header part, which allows use to measure its size independently of the rest of the content. The header's content and size can change dynamically. Then, measure main content. After measuring the header, we calculate the remaining space and measure the main content accordingly. Then comes layout phase. Finally, in the layout phase, we place the header and main content in their respective positions. The header is placed at the top and the main content is placed immediately below it, filling the rest of the space. This approach is beneficial when dealing with dynamic content whose size is not known in advance and when you want to create custom layouts that depend on the size of their children. It offers a level of flexibility and control over the layout process that is not possible with standard composed layout components.